Good morning, children. Today we are going to do two museum specimens. One is the crab, and the second one is the starfish. Now, first we will begin with crab. Now, here in the laboratory, we are having the specimen like this. Okay. So this way, it moves around over the land. Now, the crab it is found. Throughout the world, that is, it is cosmopolitan in India, in the Europe, UK, America, etc. It is called the rock crab or the true crab. Now, it has got a big, broad carapace. Huh? It is the cephalothorax, which is known as the carapace. It has got four, uh, five pairs of uh, uh, stumpy legs, five pairs of stumpy legs, and the first pair is quite broad and thick for holding the prey. Now, right at top is it is having the antinune and the antenna. Antenna. The compound eye is there, situated in the carapace, right on top. Now the abdomen is right below. Now when you write in your files, you are going to do the diagram here in the white sheet. The diagram will be done here in the white sheet and everything will be done in pencil. And to the left on top, to the left on top you will write the classification. Phylum, Arthropoda, Class, Crustacea, Genus, Carcinus. So the top will be the heading that is Carcinus, Crab, right at the top you will write that then you do the diagram and then you do the labeling everything in pencil but remember that you will not forget to write the classification that also in the white sheet white sheet the classification has to be written to the left okay now i will do the next museum specimen the next museum specimen is the starfish so as it looks like a star, it is very symmetrical, five arms it is having and the body has got oral surface and aboral surface. Oral surface is concave with the mouth in the center and the aboral surface is at the back. Now here is the diagram of the starfish. Now it has got five arms. So here is the labeling, then the central disc is here, the spines are there. Then the marginal plates are there, then the madriporite or ossicles are there for the water to come in and go out. Now again the classification we will not forget to write at the left on another page. Crab you will do in one page and starfish you will do on another page. And the classification must be written to the left top. Top left you will write the classification. Now this crab, this uh, uh, starfish is found in India, in U USA, in UK, Europe, etc. Now by its name, because it is having five arms, it is known as a starfish. But it is not a fish, it belongs to the phylum Echinodermata. So just now I have told you what are the parts and it is quite leathery. It is quite thick and leathery and it is found in marine water only. Starfish is found only in marine water, that is salty water. But crab is found in marine water, in shallow water, in shallow marine water. Also you will get and also in rivers, in muddy places you will get under the rocks you will find uh, these crabs. But this you will get in shallow water. This also you will get shallow water both in fresh water and marine water. But this you will get only in shallow marine water you will get. And um, the outer covering that is the integument is quite thick and leathery. And inside the soft body is there. So this is all about two museum specimens you have studied today. And you have to do the draw drawings, the diagrams in your practical files. And then you have to write the comments as it is given in the book. So the crab is given on page 37, 37 and you have to write the habit and habitat, then the comments, 
you have to write. And uh, the starfish, it is given in page 44. You again you have to write the habit, habited, habit and habited, and the comments followed by that on the rule side of your practical files. So that's all for today, children. Thank you.